My former job has now fallen to min wage pay. For fun I looked up my former job company I left 8 years ago. I know they've been chronically hiring and run a skeleton crew. About 2 years ago I came across my former boss and owner of said company and she said she'd hire me. Back if I wanted, or if I knew anyone who could do the job. I don't dislike anyone to send them there. So, I left 8 years ago making a few dollars an hour over minimum wage and was frustrated they ran a skeleton crew while the owners and their kids took nice vacations. Often, I doubled my income leaving. Today, 8 years later, they are now offering minimum wage to do the job. Just 74 cents per hour more than I made 8 years. Because min wage has increased, they are also trying to hire an accountant for the office at 24 cents per hour more than minimum wage. I do hope this is a death rattle for the company if that's all they are willing to pay. The job requires some industry knowledge and some skill to do. And they want you to have that already. For minimum wage, I'd rather do just about anything else for the same money. And the parents. And their kids are Trump humping, no one wants to work anymore, folks. Each of their kids had over $100,000 in vehicles. Plural. Each and would try to convince you they worked for and earned them without their parents help at 1617 years old good riddance well they're not entirely wrong no one wants to work for them i'm sure they got a fat ppp check that kept them afloat i think the big disconnect is that people assume a business that is still operating is successful and that success is entirely the result of smart decisions. Therefore management or owners aren't stupid. I have seen incredibly dumb decisions. For example, if a company has an employee who is productive and the work they produce generates many times their wages, then the smart decision is to keep that employee and pay them slightly more than they can get on the market as long as they continue to generate much more revenue than they cost. Why? Because replacing an employee is significantly higher than the raises you give them. That also assumes that the new hire will produce the same results. Will stay. And you can find this person. Many companies don't factor in how much they are losing by not having a trained employee in that seat. They don't realize that a new hire drags down productivity for months. But what employers don't understand is that by not giving raises and keeping trained staff, they are creating needless problems for the organization. That means that all the creativity and talent is now focused on replacing an employee who would have stayed for as little as $1,500 a year instead of the organization fully focused on generating revenue attracting new customers, innovating, or solving more expensive problems. In many cases, it would be far better to give an employee a $2,000 bonus at the end of the year, meaning it pays to stay to the end, and use the management's time to lower the $5,000 a month utilities. The issue is that payroll is a big number on the P&L and it's easy to think that by getting rid of Dave at $18 an hour to hire someone else at $16 an hour will fall to the bottom line. No, the real problem is that decision makers equate low paid positions as low skilled and anyone can do it. This is rarely the case. It's only low paid because they don't value that position's contribution to the company and don't realize it until they are gone. The unfortunate fact is that management's poor decisions take months to impact the organization. I can guarantee you that almost all corporate train wrecks can be traced back to not valuing talent or listening to good advice months or even years earlier. No one wants to pay anymore. Uh it's the accountant role that got me. I've been an accountant for 20 years and no one values that role because no one knows what we do. It's time intensive, research intensive, sometimes, 
And it's not like the governing bodies are helpful with compliance stuff. They're going to get someone who thinks they know what they're doing, but doesn't, and then costs then a ton of money later for things they did wrong. Employers don't value their employees or the years of knowledge and experience we bring because we're all just cogs, easily replaced. Good for you escaping that nonsense. Accountant for slightly over minimum wage? What a joke. I hope you find a clever way to call them out. What industry? State? They'll get the quality of people that goes for that level of wage. Minimum wage equals minimum effort. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.